Hi Shin, here we are again. Back. We're back. Episode 3. How do you feel? Hey, Seps. I feel great. You, you look, you look great. What is that? Are they, is that, is that pink? Um, what, yeah. what is that? It is, actually. Um, yeah, I guess before we start, I'll tell everybody. I've got a new skin, but also I've got a new account. I'm not using the Granny Bacon account anymore. Uh, rest in peace. Granny hey. Bacon had an accident. Um, Shin pushed her down these stairs here, the, these perilous stairs. Um, she broke her ankle when she got to the bottom. And then, uh, really pathetically, she just sort of flopped into the river, and got carried away by a bunch of squids, and I doubt we'll ever see her again, unfortunately. Um, that's that for, um, for Granny Bacon. Uh, but here I am. I've, I've got a new account, like I said, called Sips, with an underscore at the end, because somebody stole uh, my name. And uh, check me out. Oh boy. A new skin got fluffy bunny feet and and boxer shorts and i'm looking half shaved i look a bit like a zombie but um but this was made by a guy named john garcia and uh and he linked me this over facebook thank you very much you've done a great job i love it shin loves it everybody Fantastic loves it job yeah so um so your next job is to make one for shin too <laughs> yeah uh, if you're up oh for wow it. that would be yeah. that would be good this elf is it's looking yeah. a bit tired, isn't he? Well, and that looks just like you uh, in real life as well, which is kind of astonishing. They even got the fact that you're black and white uh, in real life as well. You just I know. like shades of grey. I know the attention to detail is uh, is uncanny. Um, yeah. yeah, let's um, let's get me some food though, because um, I I'm I'm low on food. I'm I'm low on food. I'm uh, oh, geez. I'm hungry. I have no items either. I'm new to this camp. Uh, I'm new. I'm I'm a new arrival at Deep Space Nine. And uh, probably, uh, oh, thanks. Oh, it's gonna take this some steaks. Gonna taste delicious cooked steaks. I'm gonna eat two. Okay, so. Mutopia's finest. M <laughs> Mutopia's finest, yeah. Um, so, so what are we gonna do today? What do you want to do? Let's 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 dig that quarry. You want to dig a quarry? Yeah. We had okay. that mine. We were gonna we're gonna jump into the mine and uh, yeah, and get that dug out this episode won't we yeah because we didn't really do anything last episode and uh and i think no. i think it's because we were just trying to survive and this is where you sort of started digging last time so maybe this is as good a spot as any to uh we'll try to get some rare stones and ores mm. and some other crap that'd be nice eh I'm just gonna start using my hands yeah in fact in fact uh take this pick i have a i have a pickaxe Oh, uh, well, that that would be good. That I made earlier. Oh, I just picked it up. And use that on the stone. Fantastic, yeah. I'll put up a fence around this. Yeah, let's make an open quarry. Does that is that a good idea? I think that's a good idea. Just so we can tell when it's night time. We don't want any. Uh, we don't want any shambling undead sort of, uh, you know, turning up to the party uninvited, obviously, and uh, and wrecking things, you know. Yeah, or, or using the quarry as a toilet. Well, yeah, we don't want that either. I don't even know. I mean, do zombies actually poop, or do they need to poop? Or is it just... Um... I don't know. They eat a lot of brains, so if they do poop, I'd assume they, they poop brains. Well, I, I wouldn't want to see that, or or smell that. I mean, do you think... No. What do you think it would smell like? Like, not real poop. It would probably just smell a bit like... Uh, I don't know. Cheese? Sillet bang. Cheese. Yeah. It might yeah. smell like cheese. Cheese and sillet bang. Yeah, like a mixture of uh, cheese and sillet bang. God, that's um, that's quite the thought actually, and uh, it's not it's not the kind of thing you want to be thinking about when you're uh, when you're working hard, digging out a quarry. I'm um, on that topic actually. I'm digging dirt with more dirt. And I don't really know how that works. It's like uh, you know, I I could understand if I had a piece of like frozen dirt and I was I was digging some like softer, like not frozen dirt, but I don't think that's the case. Mm. So what the hell's going on? It's just mud everywhere, isn't it? It kind of ruins my immersion and uh, takes away from my uh, my role play experience. Um, it's the only thing. That's the only. Whoops! Oh, God, you scared the crap out of me. Sorry, I I, I fell in the quarry. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go and chop down some trees. I need I need I need wood uh, to make some more fence, and I don't want to fall on you again. That's that's just inconvenient. You need to be careful, Shin, because like um, you don't want to just like fall in yeah. the quarry and die, because uh, that would be a really crappy end to this epic adventure. That's a good point, actually. Make sure it isn't too deep, because uh, if it is, then otherwise it's just gonna slip on a banana skin or like a a patch of a patch of oil, and yeah. uh, just slip into the quarry. So if we if we get a lot of torches, that uh, we put them around the outside of the quarry, um, the uh, the bad guys won't spawn there, right? They won't. No, they don't spawn where there's enough light, so we oh, should okay. be safe. That might be a good and idea. And I don't think they can get over fences either. Oh, great. That's so if there's like better. a fence, they can't... Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. They're pretty dumb, eh? Would they would they accidentally fall in here and try to eat us or anything? Like, if we if we wanted to work on this, like, at night, say, um, would they, you know, would they come down here and try to kill us, or would they just stay, like, top No, side? I think, uh, I think we, we'd be safe. They, they wouldn't be able to get over the fences, so they kind of congregate outside, and, uh, and maybe maybe kind of fling, fling poo. Or brains or pooey what? brains. Why? Why would they do that? I'd... Like it's not. It's not bad enough that they're undead. Like, do they have to be so antisocial as well? I mean, why can't they just leave two? They're a menace. Two dudes to just like do their thing. Like, they see something beautiful. Yeah. And they just want to ruin it. Do you think it's because they're jealous though? Because they're they died. Might be, yeah. But they're all dead and eating brains, and we're all having fun in a quarry, digging stone, and uh, and, and they want a piece yeah, of that Yeah, working. Action. Working really hard all the time. And they're just yeah. shambling around, yeah. not working hard. Hmm. Actually, this... Wouldn't we be jealous of them? Yeah, I think so, actually. I, 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 know, what, I know what I'd rather be doing, and it's, it's certainly That's not... That's a good point, actually, yeah. ...digging out a quarry. I mean, Christ. Being a zombie doesn't seem like such a bad life. You, you you wander around, not a care in the world, eat all the time, uh, yeah. whatever you want, and uh, you're really hard to kill as well. Occasionally get destroyed by like an overzealous adventurer, but like not often. That wouldn't ha actually happen that often. That's like minor inconvenience, isn't it, really? Yeah, got more chance of winning the lottery, really. Yeah. Especially in, in in this world, considering. The adventurers, and uh, yeah, you, fully unarmed. You got a one one in two chance of winning, winning the lottery in this world, unless maybe you know you never know. There might be some more people out there. But like it's like lost. Oh, be careful. Maybe we'll come across the, the others. Uh, oh, the moon's up. Oh sh. Oh god, I. Thanks for telling me. I, I've forgotten where I am. Oh Christ. I, well, I know where I am. And, I think uh, I can find Deep Space Nine. I can't. I can't see you. Yeah, we're commu we're communicating via radio right now. Um, wow, there's a lot. I of zombies. see it. I see it. A lot of zombies. Breaker, breaker. This is uh, this is Tango Elf. I've located the drop zone. Uh, Roger. Yeah, I'm here. Roger that. Tang it. Oh yeah, there you are. I see you. It's okay. Oh, there's a creeper following you, by the way. Uh, I'll... Oh jeez. Uh, oh run. Post haste. <laughs> I'm post haste running up deep space. Oh Christ, he's following you, and he's uh. Oh god, he's coming up the stairs. Woof. That was close. He just uh Jeez. He got up the first two steps and then he just decided he was just gonna fall off the stairs altogether and give up. So um This this is quite perilous. Oof, yeah. I might try and uh you remember that hole over there on the left that I kinda lost the skeletons in? Yeah. I think I might be able to uh to lose the creeper in there. What no, do you don't, think? I don't try it, it's too risky. Um, he's trying to defile my quarry as well, which uh, isn't uh, isn't sitting too well with me. What the hell do I have? I've got a bunch of stone. I've got like one thing of gravel and a bunch of dirt. I have some dirt. I'm throwing dirt at you now. Oh, oh, thanks. There's some chickens in the furnace. Oh, is there? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna yeah. cook those up. I must have left them there last episode. It's good. Be great, because I'm, I'm running out of food parts. Now. I'm actually. Um, do you have any wood? Oh yeah, I've got. I've got wood. Uh, let me. Uh, let me get that to you. Do you want it in log form or in plank form? Um, God, I'd love it in plank form. Okay, let me. Let me just make you some planks. Ah, oh, 
That's great. Thanks for the wood. Okay, I'm going to make uh, some sticks. I'm going to make some sticks. Just tons of sticks. Here we go. 64 sticks. I'll keep these planks just in case. And uh, I'll make some uh, I'll make some wooden tools too. Make some um, Oh yeah, did did you get um, actually did you get much stone when you were down there? If you can make some stone uh, some stone tools. Yeah. I'll uh, I'm going to make some uh, some axes. I just made a bunch of axes. Uh, I'll make some more pickaxes too. There we go. Oh I'm great. Three. Yeah. Um yeah, that should do. Just move all this crap out. God, it must be really boring watching me craft. At least uh, I remember some of the recipes now. God, look at all those creepers. Oh, and um I forgot to mention too, my brightness settings are, are turned up so we can actually see what's going on now. It's quite nice. It's the oh, middle fantastic. of the night. It's the middle yeah. of the night. Um here you go. Mm, I'll give you but the a stars um, have, uh, have lit up Mutopia. Yeah. Here you go. Here's an axe and uh here's a pickaxe. Oh, you're too kind, Sips. Uh, I know. I'm just that kind of guy. I'm going to uh I'm going to expand this out a bit actually. We should build a we should try to get a roof built on this old jalopy at some point too because it's um yeah. It's a uh, it's a bit embarrassing. Like I mean if if we ever do bump into somebody else in our adventures, they find out that we're living here, um, we'll probably never see them again. They won't want to like associate with us whatsoever. No, I don't blame them, really, to be honest. Deep Space Nine is, is pretty pretty crummy. We don't even have any of the conveniences that the real Deep Space Nine has, like um, uh, that place where they go to drink. Oh my god, there's the bar, a creeper. I think it is. Creeper right underneath us. Oh jeez, oh, I was geez. gonna I was gonna fix the stairs. Um, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Sorry, sorry for interrupting you there. I, I'm really sorry. But oh god, he's trying to come up. Um, yeah, we don't have a, we don't have a cantina, and uh, and therefore we have no place to meet um, humans who have a bit of face paint on them and are supposed to be aliens. But they're not aliens. I mean, that's one thing Star Trek was really terrible at. That like that. The aliens never really looked uh, like convincing aliens, did they? They just looked like dudes wearing wearing costumes all the time. No, yeah, I remember a friend to me once said that that um, Klingons basically look like they have Cornish pasties on their foreheads, and that's yeah. the makeup. If you can just you know glue a Cornish pasty to your forehead, you're a Klingon, and it's a good point. It's a good point. I, don't, and, I wouldn't uh... like to eat a Klingon's head, but. Uh... No, it's a good point, mm. and it's really well put too. Um, mm. your friend's obviously a, a very wise person. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Where have all the cows gone? There are no cows left. No cows at all left on Mutopia. Okay, I got a backup sword now, and a real sword. I got a stone sword. You want one? Oh. I noticed that you have like a really crappy oh, yeah. cardboard sword there. Maybe you want? Um, yeah, it's. You want some of this? I think it's noise? wet as well. I, I got in. I got in the water earlier, and, and it's, it kind of got wet a, and soggy. A soggy so cardboard sword. I could like sword. slap. Maybe slap somebody with it, but it would probably just disintegrate. Well, it may not hurt them, but it would. It would definitely hurt their feelings and ego because what? What a sign of disrespect! Mm. Slapping somebody with a soggy piece of cardboard doesn't get much worse than that yeah no that, that's got to be really embarrassing yeah i don't know where this other creeper's gone but i, I really want to oh there he is son of a bitch there's a zombie down there now too i really want to fix these stairs because they're, they're a bit narrow and um you know one casualty is enough we don't we don't need anyone else tripping down there getting taken away by squids because what a way to go i mean it's not like getting saved by like a pod of dolphins i mean squids are Squids are vicious, and um, they would, oh, yeah. would just tear you limb from limb, no problem. They are vicious. They've got beaks, you know. No, they don't. I don't think they have beaks. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Like bird beaks? They have, uh, yeah. They have uh, and, uh, underwater wings, too, and if they ever, just in case, like, they ever did, like, come out of the water, like, just flopped out of the water like a whale, they could potentially um, fly with their auto underwater wings. Yeah. Yeah. 
like dragons and, and yeah. breathe fiery ink like uh, squid dragons yeah I think just just That's ink alone would be enough actually uh, it wouldn't need to be on fire just, just ink alone oh god look at these creepers are terrifying they just their faces and everything just are awful what do you think would happen if I went down there and made him blow up like uh I suppose we don't really want him to blow up the uh the pillars that are holding up Deep Space Nine. That would probably be um not, yeah. not the best idea. Catastrophic. Yeah. They they uh they blow up kinda of big as well. You might get just like caught in the fringe the explosion and just go up in smoke. Because we're not wearing any armor. You're wearing you're wearing oh. slippers and boxer shorts, so Yeah. I I don't like our chances. Pink bunny slippers as well. God, I love them. That guy's done a really good job. I hope uh, I hope somebody can do a skin for you too. That'd be great. Um, it's a shame Granny Bacon died with those uh, with those leather boots. You can always have my uh, my leather jerkin, my leather thong. I think uh, I think I'll stick with my boxer shorts actually. Um, in the uh, in the sweaty stakes, they're probably um, probably pretty close. You know, I I just dug like half a quarry um, yesterday. Oh in yeah. In my boxers, so they're probably just like soaking wet. Well, if you ever need like any more protection, maybe something to to put on your head. Yeah. Or uh, or like a gum shield. <laughs> yeah. Then. Uh, or like a ninja mask. Then. Yeah, yeah, just just to kind of breathe all that delicious air through. Yeah. Just yeah. Just have it on your face right there, touching your lips. Loin yeah. Cloth. It's a bit like yeah. That. Then, then you're more than welcome. It's a bit like that towel from uh, from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know, the one that they always lick. They're yeah, just like that disgusting that was, that old towel. Filthy. You, your loincloth could be like that. We could just like occasionally, you know, we need some inspiration or just a bit tired or maybe just a bit bored. Just have a lick of the old loincloth. Mm. See, uh, see what just happens. Just bring it out like like a like a security blanket, a security loincloth. Yeah, I'm up for that. Are you up for that? No, no. I, okay. I now we think about it. I I don't think I'd like to, to lick my loincloth all that much. We should we should make like a set of. Oh my god, Jesus! It's pouring rain. We oh don't no. even have this a roof. Is, this is bad because the sun is rising. But if it's raining, monsters aren't going to burn. No, I'm going to start building yeah, some sort of. We need roof. a roof. I'm going to uh, actually. No, I'm out of wood though. That. I've given you all my planks. I've got I've got tons of wood, huge wood. Um, I'm gonna build. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave like a little sort of porthole there so that we can see what's going on. And, uh, I'm also gonna put this here. I'm gonna leave that. See, look, I'm just just making do with what I've got. I, I don't have much. Um, God, I've only got five pieces of wood left. This isn't really gonna work out. Let's oh jeez. Yeah, let's uh let's try to connect this part here. Oh, this is terrible. Shin, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. I'm getting soaking sips. What's going on? I know. On? We've been reduced to... You know what? Got a ton of dirt here, too. Should I just, like, put some dirt down? Why not, eh? Uh, you could. It, it looks terrible, but I guess it works as a roof. Yeah. Just to keep us dry. Do they make mud huts in, in some places of the world to live in, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, all over some, the place. Uh, some ancient cultures used to live in mud huts. God, that's a low roof. Like the but... Egyptians. Weren't the pyramids made of mud? Yeah, pretty much. There we go. Well, this will this will do for yeah. now. This is fine. It's uh. Yeah, that's it's, it's not ideal, but it'll it'll keep us dry. And uh, God, there's not much we can do with that creeper and and zombie underneath Deep Space Nine right now. And uh. No. We've just got this shitty mud hut set up now. God. We have to wait until it stops raining, else uh, else these things aren't going to burn, these creatures. I'm just worried about like all the mud dripping onto me um, as it gets soaked. And the worms. And the There's worms. There's going to be all kinds of insects in this mud, and... They're all going to fall down like centipedes. You'll be sleeping or you'll be baking, maybe I cooking know. like a fried egg. And then a centipede will land in the pan. And they might have a centipede get, get into my boxer shorts disgusting. too. 
Oh Ooh, yeah, and kind of crawl around. Oh and god, they're still down with there. Some worms. Okay, well, we we've survived the night. Um, I don't know if we'll survive this rainstorm, but um, but it'll be interesting to see anyway. Um, once this rain goes away, I think we can we can make a, another journey out to to get the quarry built some more, and uh, yeah, we should get some beds built pretty soon too, so that we can actually sleep. Because sleeping uh, restores hearts, right? If we don't have food. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I, it's, a, it's such a spawn point, but I can't remember. Oh god, we don't really need spawn points, though, do we? No, no, because uh, we if we die, it's kind of <laughs> permanent. So yeah, it's done. Okay, well, not not the best. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> he's ah. uh, he he's coming through the floor, uh, which is terrifying, obviously. We want to. Uh, <laughs> he's breaking through the planks, cracking through. We should get. Oh, we should get some glass floor for Deep Space Nine so that we can look at these guys underneath. Because um, yeah, I, I think it's like going to happen of more. Blow and our more. noses at them and. Yeah, yeah. Raspberry. Yeah, you could poop on top of the glass, and they would, for a split second, think, "Oh my God, it's going to hit me!" But no, it would just be like on the glass, land on the glass. Yeah. And then it would just be there until the end of time, like just constantly disrespecting them just to poop on the glass maybe even kind of you know stick your finger in and and, and write you know something something insulting the zombies in poo on the glass yeah just like you suck or yeah screw you that, that would totally piss them off yeah they, God, they that would, would ruin their day they get so mad they'd be so mad okay well i think we should wrap up there and um and we'll continue our journey, uh, our adventure in, in building stuff, getting Deep Space Nine built and everything, uh, once this rain stops and, uh, and, we, and we get some more daylight. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody, as usual. And, uh, and stay tuned for the next episode, where hopefully we'll, uh, we'll dig out more of the quarry and, uh, and build some fences around it get some torches and then uh, we should be able to do some work at night as well instead of just hiding like a bunch of babies up on top of Deep Space Nine every time the creepers and stuff. Like a bunch of babbies. Like a bunch of babbies. Yeah. So, uh, so until then, um, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>